Modern nuclear bombs are so devastating that they can flatten cities in seconds. However, there are also anti-ballistic missiles capable of destroying such deadly nuclear missiles before they actually hit their target. But what would actually happen if such an anti-ballistic missile destroyed a nuclear missile in mid-air? To begin with, a nuclear bomb involves the fundamental forces, both weak and strong, that hold the nucleus of an atom together by utilizing the energy released when the subatomic particles are either merged or split. There are two ways in which nuclear energy can be released from an atom. Nuclear fission, wherein the nucleus is split into smaller subatomic particles, or nuclear fusion, wherein two or more smaller nuclei come together to make a new, larger nucleus. Now, in order to detonate a nuclear bomb, you must carefully follow a very precise sequence of steps. When a single free neutron strikes the nucleus of an atom of a radioactive material, such as plutonium or uranium, it knocks neutrons free from within the nucleus of the target material, along with releasing energy. Now, those newly split off neutrons strike other plutonium or uranium nuclei and split them in the same way. Those new nuclei, in turn, split other nuclei, causing a chain reaction. This reaction occurs instantaneously and releases incredible amounts of energy. The material used in the atomic bomb detonated over Hiroshima was uranium-235, which released a force roughly equivalent to 15,000 tons of TNT. The bomb detonated on Nagasaki had a plutonium core and released a force equivalent to 21,000 tons of TNT. In order to detonate an atomic bomb, one must bring the subcritical masses together. The easiest and oldest way to do that is to design a gun that fires one mass into the other, known as a gun-type assembly weapon. In this system, a U-235 bullet runs down a long tube and hits the cylinder target placed at the end of the tube. When that happens, the chain reaction begins and the bomb detonates. Now, there are countermeasures that could destroy a nuclear missile before it reaches its target and detonates, but nuclear ICBMs aren't easy to shoot down. If such anti-ballistic missiles were to hit a nuclear missile in the air, it is highly unlikely that the latter would explode and cause a nuclear reaction. Remember, detonating a nuclear bomb requires precise orchestration, without which the chain reaction will not initiate and the bomb will not detonate. The whole idea behind such anti-ballistic missile systems is that you can smash the incoming ICBM with an interceptor missile so that the nuke is destroyed before it actually reaches the target. However, that doesn't mean that exploding a nuclear missile over a populated area is safe. Not only is it very difficult to intercept an ICBM, but if an interceptor missile actually destroys a nuclear missile, the plutonium or uranium core could fall to the ground, creating a radiation hazard that could potentially endanger lives. Even so, successfully shooting down a nuclear missile would downgrade a city-flattening bomb into a mere radiation hazard, thus reducing its deadliness by a massive margin.